Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. We are continuing our playthrough of Battlestar Galactica Deadlock, which is this game that I stumbled across the other day on uh, Steam. I know it's a few years after it launched. I know I said in the uh, first impressions video that I thought it launched in 2012. That's incorrect. It launched in 2017, so it's a few years old at this point. We did a first impressions video, uh, and then I've recorded the first episode, and then we're getting into the second episode now. Um, there's only, I think, like a dozen chapters, so I figured it was something that I could easily do a playthrough series for here on YouTube for the month of April 2023. So we're getting into chapter two today. So if you like what you've seen so far, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update. Support if you can. Super chats, super thanks, memberships, the Patreon page. We also have a Discord. Links are down below. Thanks to those of you who can support, do support, because it does keep me doing this full time, as opposed to going out and flipping burgers or working somewhere. Just not a bad jobs, but I would prefer to do this. Thanks, everybody. Let's get in. All right. It says from the strategy index, um, you can manage your fleets, view mission briefings, and find locations on the table. Select fleet group data loss in the strategy index. Give the jump command. Okay, fleet group data loss. Okay, we can see it is a. We've got points. It's a Corvette. Okay, a Manticore Corvette. Confirmed kill zero, kill assist two. Oh, see, these are from the last mission. Okay, then we're going to jump. So this is still, I think, part of the um, tutorial series, to be honest with you. Um, I was reading online that the first four missions kind of count as the tutorial. Helos Alpha. Oh, so each region has different planets on it. Uh, so we're going to get the 12 planets between all of these. Very groovy. All right, so we're going to PyCon. Man, by the way, I, I was doing um, a rewatch of Battlestar Galactica the Reimagined series last year for the members here on our channel. And over the holidays, we kind of got sidetracked. I need to get back to that because uh, we were midway through season one. Such a good show. All right, we're going to confirm jump here. Move the camera. Okay. Oh, there's a news feed at the bottom, too. Colonial fleet group marker is a good mission marker. Fires continue to burn across PyCon. Estimated casualties exceed 50,000. Alright. The battle queue lists all of the skirmishes and missions that need to be resolved before the start of the next turn. Click proceed to continue to the next mission. Here we go. No Cylon Raiders there. Click on unit projections, reposition your fleet during FTL insertion. Uh oh. Orbit the FTL insertion grid by holding right last click button. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's move that up a bit. Oh, you can go up and down? Interesting. All right, we'll proceed. So you can kind of pick how you're jumping into the system. Fleet group is jumping in three, two, one. Jump complete. Dratus contacts bearing 017, Karam 021. PyCon and the rest of the 12 colonies are watching our every move, Commander. Some would see Colonial Fleet fail. Ensure we succeed. No pressure, sir. No pressure at all. 
The voiceovers are actually pretty good here. Um, so we have three different... Well, I'm going to say... No, hang on. First thing we want to do... I want to launch all squadrons. Yes, sir. And we want to make an abrupt turn over here. So say we all. And we're going to go in this direction. Ships are not lifeless assets to needlessly throw at the enemy, Commander. Adjust a ship's posture to tailor the crew's tactics so that you can match whatever opposition you encounter. I agree with that because this one's going to take missile fire first. So we're a go defensive in posture ensures the ship's defense-oriented subsystems are more efficient. Likewise, an aggressive posture will boost the ship's offensive capabilities at the expense of the ship's defenses. All right, well, we are going to continue to head in this direction. Do I have the fleet selected to capitals and squadrons? Ah. Okay. IFF confirms unit is hostile. Okay, perfect. Commander, receiving word from Athena's CAG. Their alert vipers are online and ready to return hostilities. I've already launched all squadrons, so, exactly, so, we need to, focus fire, but beyond that we're going to do, um, fire guided missile, Yes, Commander. Okay. We got a squadron over here. We're going to do something here. So we're going to go ahead and bring this over here like so. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Now I want the Battlestar actually. to swing about and focus fire there. All right. Missiles incoming. Use squadrons to hit priority targets or defend any of our own capitals. You can recall a squadron back to its carrier if the situation begins to deteriorate. I think we're okay for now. Understood. Oh, you can board? Fire munitions.
Should I drop some flak? I should totally drop some flak. They're getting out of the way though, aren't they? All right, we'll wait. doing that. I'm going to send the Battlestar over here. Yes, Commander. Meanwhile, 60, 60, we're good. Honestly, <clears throat> these should be able to take care of that. I want these two to turn around. We got missiles coming in from somewhere. Okay. That's not good. Commander, I've asked Sinan if there is any way we can stop those Cylon tech ships from hacking our systems, but he's being stubborn. We've already minimized onboard networking. Your firewall should keep them out for a while. Otherwise, take the subsystem offline for repairs if they cause too much damage. Okay, so that's. Or you can rely on the tried and tested method of shooting the Cylons down before they get the chance. Battlestars are equipped to accommodate flak ammunition. Use this to zone out fighters and incoming munitions. I agree. We're going to flak left side. You need to check your subsystems. I think we're good. I think we're still good. Let's go ahead and move so we can stay on this side of the Battlestar. Yes, sir. Come over here. You three have destroyed that ship, yes? Okay. Come on back, boys. Is can I can I make my ship not move forward any any distance? Fire munitions. You also. It's fire munitions over here. Also, fire munitions, 
pretty sure you can also fire munitions. Oh, munition supply, okay. Missiles incoming! Yeah, the flak will take care of them. Sir, PyCon Intel just confirmed that Admiral McKinley died in the attack on Fleet HQ. With Admiral Sarkis still missing aboard Galactica, Admiral Kane remains the commanding officer of Colonial Fleet. Okay. McKinley was a good commander and a good soldier. We honor his memory today. So say we all. So say we all. So say we all. Okay, now let's see here. We should be able to... Well, we actually might want to... Um... Yes, sir. fire and then also focus fire all right here we go a battle star is being hacked Do about that. All right. So say we all. So you can shorten the distance that they're going to travel, which is good. Fighter squadron is taking fire. They'll be fine. Okay. Yes, sir. Hoorah! Dreadus is cold. All hostile contacts are cleared. If you're finished playing with PyCon's toy, I believe it's time to hand Athena over to their defense ministry. Why They've already been notified, Sinan. Commander, there's something else. We're having some difficulty with Daedalus's navigation computers. It'll be easier to explain from the war room. Okay. Back we go. Admiral, Commander, we have a problem. The Idris relay that we use to outsource our jump calculations is malfunctioning. Malfunctioning? What's our effective jump distance? It's difficult to estimate with just the onboard computers. The red line extends beyond Helios Alpha, but we'd probably need an intermediary jump to get anywhere significant outside of the system. This is what an ambush looks like, Commander. Find us a way back to Helios Gamma immediately. I want Daedalus under the cover of Ragnar's clouds before the Cylons can attack. Commander, we're going to need more ships. Sinan's taken up yards one and two for the Jupiter-class battle stars, and we're only prepped to crunch manticores right now. The floor crews are changing their build priorities as we speak. 
There's no use having a half-built battle stars if we can't defend them. Oh, so now we can build some new ships, it says. Silent forces cannot attack colonial fleets anchor in Ragnar. New ships are built from the Daedalus shipyards. So build ships. Ships cost Tilium and time to build. So we're going to build another corvette. This just takes two turns to build. 500 fleet points. 700 Tilium. Okay, we've got the Manticore hull underway, but let's push its fit out and training schedule forward. So they want us to do a rush build. Don't really want to, but they want me to, so they're just teaching me. Your brand new Manticore is awaiting your orders, Commander. It says to use the strategy index to select your new Corvette and merge it with Fleet Group Daedalos. New units will create their own fleets when finished and can be merged with an existing fleet group at the same location, but they have to be at the same location. Okay, so that's good to know. Colonial Fleet. Transfer. Fleet group Daedalos. Confirm. Sir, we suspect a satellite at Caprica Terminal may be the source of the Idris interference affecting our jump distance. I have the briefing packet ready. All right, so it looks like we're about to head into Chapter 3, Transmissions. But that is going to be for the next episode. So make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update as we continue to play Battlestar Galactica Deadlock, which has been a really fun strategy-based, turn-based space game so far. I'm really enjoying it, and it doesn't hurt that it's in one of my favorite IPs of all time, the reimagined Battlestar Galactica. So if you like this stuff, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update as we continue to rock through this game. It's pretty short from what I understand. It looks like there's like a dozen chapters, so we should be able to get through this throughout the month of April. So uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next episode. In the meantime, I do get to do this thanks to the support of our community members, so please support if you can. Memberships start at $2.99 a month on the channel. You can do super chats on any live stream or premiere, super thanks on any upload or YouTube short. There is a Patreon page as well if you want to get involved with the game stuff that I do with my wife and my brother. We have a point-and-click game, tabletop game, and a book series. Discord's down below. See everybody in the next episode. So say we all.